All right. <laughs> this is my title. Y'all ready for my title? Your problem is witches. That's my title. Your problem is witches. Amen. Uh, we don't know how powerful. We don't glory or give glory to the kingdom of darkness. But only a fool would underestimate their opponent. When, you, when, 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 when boxers are about to box, no matter how much they train, they would be a fool not to study the videos of the other fighter to see how he fight. No matter how well I train, I need to see how he fight because I'm, not, I'm fighting him. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So my job is to get as much information about my opponent. Now, uh, this message is going to help many of you all because you have to understand. Thank you, son. I'm there. Thank you. Thank you. Give him one more hand. Um, you have to understand that um, you come, you grew up, uh, the Bible says the sins of the parents passed down to the children. Amen. Third, fourth generation. That means that you, 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 you was born into automatic demonic activity. No matter who you were, you were born into it. One of the problems that we have in our family, especially black folk, I think all people, because the occult is, it means what it means, it's hidden, secretive. One of our problems is that we, the people in your family that were witches would never have told you. A witch is not necessarily, it is, I'll get into it a little bit, but it, a, a witch is not necessarily a person that does spells. Uh, there is something called, uh, the Bible says witchcraft is a work of the flesh. Are y'all there? Let's go there before I go to, to Acts. I'm going to go here. Are y'all there? Go to uh, Galatians. Galatians chapter 5. Because I want to teach you something. Your problem is witches. <laughs> your problem is witches have you ever thought <laughs> Satan has a lot of demons the Bible even says that when Lucifer before he became Satan fell he took one third of the angels that was in heaven so he has a lot of agents spiritual supernatural beings amen, amen. yet he still uses fleshly people yeah. called witches witches or wizards or satanic agents. Say amen. amen. If he has all of these, uh, I'm sure he has millions of beings that he is under his control. Or the, Why does he need people? Because it would seem to me that he could just do what he wanted to do to people without having a flesh agent. Say flesh agent. Flesh agent. The deception of, 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 of Satan to witches, because witches are deceived, is that they are commanding the demons. In reality, the demons are commanding them because in the beginning when God created man, he gave man what? Dominion. That means rightful rulership, ownership. Only the human, flesh man, is lawful in this world, this realm. So Satan does not have a fleshly body so he's unlawful in this realm, so he needs a human, a human to cross over and operate through in this realm. Is this too much to understand? So witches or people who do witchcraft are vessels, vessels. They don't have power. They have demons that have power. Are y'all there or not there? And the power that demons have are the unlawful powers of the other realm that you cannot work without the Holy Ghost y'all don't want to hear what I'm trying to tell did y'all hear what I said did y'all hear y'all not hearing what I'm saying now did you hear what I said so the other realm is unlawful which is the invisible world say man the world you cannot see it's unlawful to operate 
in this world unless you have authority. And authority, you have to be a flesh man, a human man, a man with flesh. You have to have an earth suit. You, if you don't have it, you are unlawful. Say amen. So in order for Satan to manifest his will in this realm, he needs yielded vessels that will yield their authority, even though they don't know they have it. Amen. Just when Adam sinned, he didn't lose his authority. He just, Satan blinded him from it. No longer knew how to use it. Are you there? So what Satan is doing is he needs a flesh vessel in order to work through because humans have authority in this realm. Meaning, no matter how powerful a demon is, it must have a flesh connection to operate in this world. That's why if you've, I've told you before, if you've ever seen or been around witches' covens or voodoo or Santura or African spiritism or witch doctors or whatever, you find that they have uh, their places of operation are hollowed out for darkness. Uh, the atmosphere, very important that the atmosphere is that way because demons inhabit darkness. So they need to do as much darkness to give these spirits a atmosphere to manifest in. Are you there? Is this too much? Now, so um, when I say your problem is witches, I don't mean that as a metaphor. I mean that. I mean it because no matter how many demons attack you, they must be either commissioned or sent. Did y'all hear what I said? People who are hollowed out to do evil for Satan, they get orders from Satan. But Satan tells them how to release the spirits needed to attack you in this realm. So even though a demon showed up, there was a human counterpart. Y'all don't want to talk about this. Are you there? So, so, so demonic spirits uh, uh, or Satan conditions us through, listen how I say this, through attitudes that sustain darkness. Did y'all, y'all not hear? I said attitudes that sustain darkness. Because remember, witchcraft is the work of the flesh. So he needs a certain attitude to start conditioning you on how to maintain or sustain darkness so the demons that want to use you can stay manifested. Did you hear what I said? So he starts early with trauma. Trauma like uh, 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 rejection. Remember the first spirit of murder used Cain by working on rejection. Rejection is what Satan used to create an atmosphere for that demonic spirit of murder to manifest in Cain and kill Abel. Did y'all hear what I said? He works on uh, uh, stuff like uh, unforgiveness, bitterness, jealousy, say amen, strife. Those are heart issues that he works on because he's conditioning a person to uh, keep an atmosphere of darkness whereby they can easily be used by the demonic forces. Are you there? Let's recap a little bit of what I said. There are millions of spirits, I believe, demonic spirits, but they cannot operate unless they have a fleshly. The best way I can put it is uh, remember the Bible says when uh, the rich man uh, Lazarus the beggar died and then the rich man died also and the Bible says the rich man went to a place uh, where the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell but Lazarus went to a place called Abraham's bosom now this is before Christ went down into a place called paradise which was in the earth that that those that were that were, were supposedly saints uh, they went there because there was no heavenly entrance for Christ had not died. Therefore, you could not truly be in the presence of the Most High because the blood was not yet applied Amen. over you. So you, went, so you didn't go to hell, but you went to a place called Abraham's bosom or paradise. Amen. Remember, the Bible says hell enlarged itself after uh, Christ went down and took captivity captive and brought them up out of hell. Then hell took over the place called Abraham's bosom. Come on, talk back to me. The Bible says the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell, and he asked, he said, Father Abraham, 
uh, let me go back and tell my brothers uh, that this place is real. And uh, Father Abraham said, no, you can't go back. They have Moses and the prophets. And uh, if they really want to know, they would, they, would, they would listen to him. Plus, there's a gulf fixed, meaning between the natural realm and the spiritual world, there's a barrier. Oh, y'all heard what I'm telling y'all. There's a barrier, meaning that the, that the, they can, there cannot be any operation except there be a bridge, which is what CERN is. I have told y'all that before. They're breaking down that barrier. Now, there has to be a bridge from, the, the, from that world, a spirit world, to this world. Are you there? Now, the human yielded to darkness is the connection. Talk back to me. When we yield to darkness, we can be a bridge to carry out the thoughts and intents of the demonic realm. Is, is y'all hearing what I'm saying? Now, this is what Satan needs in order to operate. But he must condition a vessel through causing them to maintain or build a, 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 a world of darkness. Now, any, now, when I've heard testimonies from witches, people who are really witches, they would say that they were not automatically a witch. It took time. Over periods of time, they were being conditioned or first initiated, then conditioned because they had to learn how to maintain darkness. The rituals that, you, that people do are them giving agreement. See, let's put, uh, it's out there. Let's say if you go to a witch or a witch doctor or whatever, anybody that practices the occult, if you go to them for help, they will ask you to do something. They might ask you to stand on your head. It don't matter what they're asking you of. If you yield to a command of the demonic, you're giving them agreement. The spell and go and get a worm's tail and a root, that's the stuff that you need to do to agree. They're making you think the power was in the ritual wall, but it was really in your agreement by you following out the commands of darkness. Did y'all hear what I tried to tell? Did y'all hear me? Your agreement. Say my agreement. my agreement. Now, once your agreement, you, you have agreed, then whatever thing, the, the demonic power can enter this world, but it must inhabit something. Amen. Is this too much to understand? No. Remember, the Bible says that Jesus went to the tomb of the man in the Gadarenes. He was cutting himself, and the, the demons started crying out. And they said, now, if you make us go, don't send us out of these regions. Matter of fact, just sit. can we go into the pigs? They needed somewhere to go. They got to inhabit something. They'll even inhabit an object. That's what charms are. It is, it is objects that have been, that have gotten the agreement of a human carrying out the orders of the demonic that released the power into the object. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? See, people, see, see listen, listen, y'all. A lot of what's being taught is a smokescreen to keep you out of the real warfare, to keep you from realizing that that stuff you're dreaming about and them sicknesses coming on your life, these are generational curses that demonic powers are operating in your family and in your life and the devil got you focused on the natural so you don't engage the spirit so see and that's why I told y'all never let nobody get you up off the name of Jesus because that name is the name that demons bow to I don't care I've seen it with my own eyes I know I've had attacks upon my own life. I will give you one more illustration before I get in the word. When you go through your sleep paralysis or when you wake, trying to wake up and you can't and you feel like something is holding you, no other name will release you at that time until you think 
about the name of Jesus. You can think of any other name, it won't work. But that name in this dispensation has been exalted. Are y'all there? Because we're not calling Jesus. We know who we're calling. So therefore, that name works. And this is why Satan is crafty. The reason why, let, let me, you, do you know why darkness is increasing? You know, Bible says last days, darkness would increase. You know why it's increasing? Because people are getting off the name. Less and less people are speaking the name. The name is what carries the power. Never let them bamboozle you there. Notice they get mad at that name. Everybody's mad at that name. That's how I know the name works. Are y'all there? Now, when you are going through or having uh, encounters of what uh, medical psychologists have named sleep paralysis, you know, they got to give it a name. Sounds like a good name. Uh, usually it's an incubus, a succubus demon, but the point is when that does happen, you are under demonic attack. Uh, that's the reason why that name immediately releases you because in that name, that, in that realm, that names carry power, amen? amen. So most, most of your uh, demonic attack or if it's demonic dreams is to trick you to get you in agreement in a dream. It's the reason why they offer you food, they offer you something, sex, something, something to cause you to be in agreement. Your agreement gives them more stronghold into your life. Usually when you wake up, after you wake up, something happened in a dream is gonna manifest, your agreement's gonna make something happen in the natural. Are y'all there? Now see, people want me to talk about all this other stuff, but I'm saying this is where the calls we get, the emails we get, it's never fair. This is what they're dealing with, but I'm a Hebrew. What does that got to do with if the devil's in you? If the devil's in your life, the devil don't care nothing about no bloodline. He don't care nothing about none of that because the devil's smart enough to know it ain't got nothing to do with bloodline. The devil understands this thing is spirit, and we messed up by killing Christ. If we never killed Christ, we'd have kept him in the flesh. It's when we released his, when we, when, we, when we killed his body, we released his spirit. And the Bible says before he ascended, he first descended. That's when he stripped uh, uh, the devil of the keys. But as long as he was in the flesh, he couldn't do it. So that's why the Bible says if they would have known, they would have never crucified him. Crucified him, released him. Say amen. Not only did it release him, him being resurrected was the qualification for the spirit of God to be released into us. Now, that's why he said, greater works shall you do than I do because I go unto my Father. And the Spirit now will be in you, and you will do better stuff, greater stuff than I did in my name. Y'all understanding what I'm saying? So, say war. war. This is a war. Satan has satanic agents. Call them wizards, warlocks, witches. Our generation has been pumped and primed because... The demonic has been made to look, uh, into, it's been entertainment. And so our children are, have gotten involved in it. Amen. The problem with this generation is a lot of witches are young because we have a, gen, a traumatized generation that was conditioned for the demonic very early based upon rejection and trauma and molestation. That's how they MK ultra people. They, they rape a child early and then they they call it split personality, but what it really is, they make a, such a trauma in you that's so painful to the human mind that your mind blanks or runs within itself trying to escape the trauma in that place. You open yourself for a demon. The other personality is just a spirit that inhabit the person when they were running from the trauma within themselves. Is this too much? Y'all to don't want to talk about this stuff. See, this is the problem. See, when you start, see, I'll be getting calls. People be mad when I start talking about this because they, they believe they were bipolar. They thought they were bipolar until I explained to them, no, this is the, the, the traumatic, the, whatever trauma that you, uh, that you had. That's why the Bible says do not lean towards your own understanding. It's our job as parents to nurture and explain to our children and walk them through traumatic events yes. so that they don't lean. Because once a trauma happens, you're, gonna, you're trying to come up, your mind, a human mind automatically assesses like a computer trying to come up with the answer. Yes. Why did this happen? And, if, and a child doesn't have a, a, a correct understanding, so you lean or Satan suggests. Yes. 
it was you. You are the problem, or you was you wasn't cute enough, or you did it. And so the child leans. That develops a complex, or a uh, a complex is a um, is a shield, a cover that hides you. Complex means you know it's you're complex. You understand? You're hot. You're behind something. You got what I'm saying? That is how you begin to live your life, and the and and while you are behind, remember. Um, saving yourself or keeping from being hurt. The real you, I mean, the real you is behind something, behind the layers that were built to stay safe. Talk to me. And the, and, and the animated you is the you that the demon is building. It's the you, that personality. Uh, y'all, did you hear what I said? This is the little voice you hear when some, when you about ready to get in relationships and you just feel like, no, nah, let me draw back. That's, that's because the, 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 the you that was being built, the real you was behind her. The, the other you was out there, and that spirit don't want nobody to get close to you, so it tells you to re, uh, run away. Amen. Too much. No. Come on, can y'all handle? Amen. Come on, I'm trying to help you. Your problem is witches. Amen. Now, my, prob my problem is I'm too thorough of a teacher. That's what's wrong with me. That's why it takes me so long to get to my point because I understand the foundation that must be laid because demons are in the detail. Demons are in the detail. So when you are delivering somebody by the word, the Bible said he sent his word and it healed. To deliver somebody just by preaching, I ain't talking about laying on hands, I ain't talking about, to, to deliver somebody by preaching, it's like you're going, it's like you're going and, you, and, you, and you're unlocking and you're uncovering and you're unlocking and you're uncovering. That's the anointing of the Holy Ghost because you're chasing them down the hole they ran down to escape from being hurt. That's where they really are. So you're literally chasing them down till you get down to where they really are. And the, and the reason why, you because you're going through layers, and what has to happen is the light of the gospel has to shine upon them where they are. So they'll realize, the light will come on, and they'll realize that I'm bound. Y'all there? Talk, can y'all talk back to me? So now, so I said all that to say that's the condition he needed. Developing other personalities is important because other personalities are demons. Satan needs that in order to lead a person into witchcraft. Now, y'all know I've taught some stuff like this before. The reason why I want to teach you about it is because I don't want to necessarily teach you about how you get there. I'm trying to teach you how people that's working against you are there. There are people working against you, working against your family, working against your progress. You got to understand witches are vile, evil. They have no uh, mercy because they, because the best way I can describe a, a, a witch is like a video game. A vid the object of every video game is to, is to kill something, get more power, get a bigger gun, to get on the next level, to kill something, to get on the next level, to meet the boss, to get to the top. You keep going to get, and you keep getting more power, and you keep doing, you keep killing, keep going more power, keep getting, get a bigger gun, keep getting, then you get to the end. The end, you gotta, you gotta fight the, the big man, the boss. You got what I'm saying? This is ascension. This is what witchcraft is. A witchcraft is a, witchcraft is ascending by evil. It's the opposite of what we do by faith in the Holy Ghost. They ascend by evil. So they get rewarded for evil. When they carry out certain evil, uh, Satan rewards them by giving them a bigger demon. What they think is a spirit guide. They think they're guiding that spirit, but this demon is actually guiding them. That's why when they try to quit, that same spirit torments them. Y'all there? Come on, y'all. You ain't going to hear nobody else teach y'all this. You ain't going to hear. I've, I've yet to hear people teach. And if they do, they ain't going to teach it articulate enough for you to really get deep enough. Because this is an anointing one. I'm trying to teach you about anointing because I'm telling you your problem is witches. I can't say it enough. This is the reason why you dream a lot of times about where you came from, your childhood. You in the same house you was in. That's witches craft holding you there. It's called a spirit of limitation. Get, yeah. I told you your dreams are the barometer of your life. And, and, and even though Satan hates you and demons, I, they operate, it needed a vessel. The vessel releases the needed darkness. 
Through what? Jealousy, bitterness, unforgiveness. Satan really operates by darkness, by sin. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You ever heard people say, somebody gave me the evil eye? That's real. He needs that. Now, the demon that was released motivated the person to operate in that mentality because the sin they committed by unforgiveness or bitterness or anger or jealousy gave the spirit the energy or power to operate better against you. So these witches are thinking they're astro projecting or leaving their body. What they don't know is a spirit that's allowing them to do that. Okay, I, I ain't going to go that deep yet. Is this too much? I'm trying to help you. The problem with witches is they are masters at disguise. Very covert. And if you don't have a close relationship with Jesus, you already got. They got you already. Because Jesus or his blood applied. If you really understood the spirit world, demons come to you. They must know the same. The Bible says when an evil spirit is cast out of a man, it goes away seeking what? Rest. It finds none. So it says, I know what I'll do. I'll go back to where I came from. It goes back to the same house and finds it's clean, but it's empty. It's clean, but it's empty. Meaning the person got delivered or free, but they didn't fill their temple with Christ. So that the, so, because the devil knows I cannot inhabit what is inhabited. So when you come to the Lord and he deliver you or he set you free or do something in your life, you don't fill your life with him. So them spirits come back. The easiest vessel is the one I had. No need in, I've been in this vessel for 10, 15, 20 years. Why look for a new one? I know this vessel's triggers. I know how to, so it wants to come back. And it finds you, uh, it finds you swept, but there's no presence. Talk back to me. Can we talk? Now, oh, how can I do this? Did I say Galatians? Galatians. Chapter 5. What was this? I forgot the scripture I was going to say. Uh, yeah, I can use that too. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, are y'all there? Verse 17. Come on, quickly, I got to go. I got to go. For the flesh, come on, look at the Bible. Look at the Bible. These are, this is anointed what I'm saying. I'm telling y'all, this is anointed word. I didn't even have this word. I didn't have his word. I'm telling y'all. I ate some chicken wings before I came, and I usually do that. I don't use that word. I, I got the word today. <laughs> I'm trying to Y'all think I'm playing. Y'all think I'm playing. This is, a, this is, a, but I was going to minister, I was going to minister on something like this because I, I, I woke up thinking like that. Like, okay, I know what the word's going to be. Y'all there? Look, it says, for the flesh lusted against the spirit. The flesh, look, the flesh Lust is against the spirit. Witchcraft is a work of the flesh. So the warfare is always this flesh that's been trained in sin, trained to be carnal, to tune you into this world by the senses or built in the machine. The reason why you don't know this body is a machine because you're thinking the wires. But if you understood it's a biological machine, the wires are your veins. It sends impulses from the CPU in the brain throughout the body to the, through, the, um, through the nerves. You there. And, the, and, it, and, it, and it obeys like you do on a computer. This is a computer. The computer is based on the body. It's a computer. That's why the Bible says that this computer one day will drop because it's made of dust. The realm we go into is made of light. 
This body's dust. That's why the Bible says no flesh shall ever glory in his presence. The body got to go back. It's earthly. It's, 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 it goes back. The Bible says that when he come, we shall put off, uh, uh, um, we shall put off corruption. Put on incorruption. That means he's got another glorified uh, machine to house the soul and the spirit. You're there. So because we in the fallen world based upon the sin of our forefather Adam, Amen. the flesh is now tied to the impulses of the earth. Amen. So instead of man living out of his spirit like Adam was living before he sinned, he's living out of his senses. Yeah. So Satan operates in our life through senses. He, he tunes you, he feeds your senses. That tunes you into this word. That's why the Bible, Jesus said, if any man really want to follow after me, he's got to deny himself, meaning his flesh, his senses. Because this world tunes you out of that world. So that's why when you flash, when you fast and starve this flesh, it tunes you into that world. When you feed this flesh, it tunes you out of that world, and you feel corner, you watch about six hours of TV, and you go to sleep. And you have some dreams and don't know why you're dreaming. Talk back to me. So a true disciple is one that disciplines himself to deny the flesh. Denying the flesh tunes me into the spirit. Talk back to me. So witches have been trained to fight the spirit and, and, and yield to the flesh. Because Satan needs the flesh. Okay, we are really a spirit, right? Talk to me. Are we not a spirit? Well, why? Well, the only difference, what, what we have that them demons don't have in that realm is this. What causes me to be lawful in this world is this. That's why they want this. That's what they want. Why? Because this causes them to fulfill the sinful desires. Spirits of murder need you to murder. Spirits of lust needs your body to enjoy lust because without your body, they walk around and can't find rest. Rest is being able to fulfill their evil impulses and desires, but they are tormented because they, they, they can't fulfill it, but they ever want it. Like a man in the desert looking at a glass of water but can't drink it. So they lust your body, and when they got your body, nothing makes them more happy because now they are fulfilling the lust of their heart through your flesh. Did you hear what I said? So it didn't matter if I had Hebrew flesh. They would. This is why, this is the reason why Christ came to tell men, y'all so into the flesh, y'all don't know y'all losing the battle in the spirit. So I came to reveal the spirit to you so you can get true victory say amen instead of pretending to be saved talk back to me so let's go back here for the, listen for the fle for the flesh lusted war say war, war. lust means drive poor say poor the flesh is pulling against the spirit y'all got what I'm saying the spirit against the flesh. The spirit's pulling against the flesh. These are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that you would. Why can't you do what you want to do? Like my heart desire is to give God my full heart. It's to serve him with my body and my mind. But why can't I? Because this flesh is pulling constantly did you hear what I said? Constantly against the spirit. So that what I want to do, I can't do. That's what Paul said. The things I would do, I can't do. But the things I don't want to do, that is what I find myself doing. Who shall deliver me from this body of death? Flesh. It's the flesh. So witches have fed their flesh so much that the spirit it's dead so they can carry out the desires and commands of the demons that's motivating them. 
Too much? Talk to me. Now, go to Acts. Acts, oh, man, I was there before, let's see. Acts, chapter 8, because I want to show you. Now, now I'm going to get into this, because I want you to learn, you're going to have to war. Now, this, you know, you know, you know I've been preaching a lot of things, and, and some of y'all that, that really have just come to this ministry, y'all don't know how full of warfare this church really is. I wish you was here a few years ago. You would understand the level of warfare that we fought daily. Amen. We, this is a really, this really is a intercessory church. It's a praying church. And you must understand that you're not going to win any battles until you willing to engage. Say engage. engage. You have to take some time to fight them spirits, them, them, them generational curses that has released these demons into your life. Amen. The problem with people is you don't understand the motivation of people around you. You don't know people in your family that hate your progress. You don't understand it because for some reason those that are Christ-like or Christian, we seem to not fathom evil. Amen. That's why the Bible says you need to have discernment. Yeah. Not everybody that's smiling at you loves you. Amen. Not everybody that say they love you, love you. Amen. The reason why I understand what I understand is because my whole Christian experience was nothing but warfare. I came into the church in warfare. I didn't even know it. I had Jezebel on my heels when I came into the church, fighting this war and fighting. Cause I, cause because of the gift. This, this is based on the revelation. It's a gift. But, but your problem is you, you're so unaware because it's hard to discern those you love. The, the element of love blinds you sometimes to the intention of people. So you don't put two and two together like a person that you didn't know, you would be more suspicious. But people you know, you don't say, why is the egg hanging over the door? You don't add, you don't, that, that this was over the door. You don't question that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why are they burning candles on this table? See, you don't, you're not putting it together. You just, you know, you just, it's just something that you just saw and you go on because those that you love, you don't automatically discern or you don't automatically, you're not as suspicious. Love really does cause us to lower our, our, uh, our guards, yeah. So um, many times, this is one of the prayers that you have to learn to pray. It's every household witch be exposed. Which is in my house, which is in my family, expose them. Expose them. Because I need to know, because if you trust a witch, your life is just about ruined. Yeah. It'll be ruined. This is the reason why witches love co your confidence, trust. Beware of anybody trying to get you to trust them too, too soon without knowing them. Witches need trust. When y'all going to school, some of y'all going to school, y'all in college and high school, you don't know these witches coming to you. These young witches are sliding up beside you. Witchcraft manifests itself in many forms. That's why it's nowadays, it's not always easy to spot one, but you can spot one when you look at the trappings of a witch. Witches have trappings. That means they have a look. Not all of them. That's why the greatest witch to discern is the religious witch called Jezebel. Hard to discern her because she's religious. She dresses proper. Her skirt is long. She looks right. She, but this modern culture that don't know you have discernment, you can see them. Amen. Most witches will always deform their body. They'll pierce themselves in certain places, faces and tongues and lips and all that. These are trappings. Tattoos are in all these places. These are trappings. Not everybody. Say not everybody. Not everybody, but there are trappings. Are you there? Uh, the modern witch is Jezebelic, so they're very seductive. They dress very seductive. Say amen. 
They love showing their body and stuff like that because that's their witch, that's the spell they're using. The spell is the hips and talk to me. It's the spell. And because now we don't want to really, we blank out on the fact that the book of Enoch said the fallen angels taught women how to put on makeup. We don't want to realize that makeup, part of that makeup trend is witchcraft. Because the Bible says when Jehu came to kill Jezebel, she painted her face. I don't mean you don't need a little splash on her and that, <laughs> but I mean this stuff where this seductive, totally changing who they look like, that's a lie. That's witchcraft. This is the reason why if you study Egyptians at their highest of their culture, uh, they were full of demonic worshiping these demons. And if, that's why the hieroglyphs got all of this heavy eye makeup. And that's, that's why they had it on because that's what they were taught to do because the eyes are the window to the soul. So you seduce men with your eyes. That's why they put so much to beautify the eye because that's how you catch a man with eyelashes and batting other eyes and stuff like that. So when, you when a woman beautifies herself to that, that artificial beauty, the goal is to, it's a seductiveness and seducing any type of witchcraft is about seduction. You may use a spell, even men, it may be a spell, it may be charm like you're using game, what we call game, but it's still a spell you're trying to cast on a person. Talk back to me. Now the reason, uh, uh, one of the main ways, and I gotta go, I don't have time, I gotta, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take out assignment, but I gotta give you some points before I forget. Uh, the main way, is say, say, say if, if my problem, my problem is, witches, is witches, what, what are, they doing? are they doing? Cause you wanna know what they doing. Some of the characteristics, and you might wanna write this down, some of the characteristics or the manifestations, that's about the manifestations, that witchcraft is being worked on you. Because see, witchcraft has many forms. Y'all know voodoo. I even taught something on this a while back. But you know, voodoo, santeria, condoble, uh, uh, all types of, you know, just everything that's not Christ. Let's just say that, it, it, all of it's witchcraft. Amen. It's all worshiping or yielding to demons. Uh, one of the ways you know is limitation. One of, the, one, of the, one of the main spells that witches cast on people, you gotta understand that a witch is a channel, right? People are the ones that go to the witch. People go. That's why I said Satan can't do nothing without a, a vessel. A person gets angry with you or you do something across them and they, they don't, they're not powerful they are powerful in the flesh, but they're not powerful in the dark arts. So they go look up somebody, and they're everywhere now, that does this stuff that will, that will cast a spell, and they take you, your name, or something, your article, whatever the, the spiritist or the, or the herbalist or the witch doctor or the soothsayer psychic, whatever, tells them to do. And, they, and that's why you got to understand, because Satan needs you to be a person that lives out of Bitterness and resentment, because you'll curse somebody. You'll curse somebody. So let's say uh, a, a, a boy, a, a man broke your heart. <laughs> Not only did he break your heart, but he, you see him with another girl. Jealousy, anger. I can't get him back. But I live out of this bit of resentment, soul, don't forgive, don't know how to release, grew up under rejection and abandonment, so when somebody do something to me, I take it to heart, Amen. that I want revenge, and I can't physically do it, so I'll go to a person who curses people for, 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 for me. You, they may take a lock Amen. to the witch, and the witch does a spell, whatever the spell would be, it would have to be, that person is going to have to be, uh, but th that person is going to have to participate by giving them something. That, giving them something is an initiation, so the person is actually initiating the witchcraft, they don't know. They're a blind witch, once they consult a witch, you become a blind witch. I, I don't have time to talk about that. So that person does a spell to lock you. Spell of limitation. 
the witch does it, does the spell, the charm uh, over the lock, and then you go take the lock and you throw the lock in the river or something. So that means nobody could ever find it. And as long as that lock ain't found, that person's locked. The lock could be limitation where they'll never get married, where they'll never uh, achieve, they'll be, never get finances. Uh, their spell's called right on the edge, meaning as soon as a person gets to the edge, something always happens. Curses of death. These are things you have to listen to me. Ain't nobody going to teach all this. Listen. Look at your life. Look at what's going on in your life. Look at the unexplained things. Things that just don't make sense. Like why do I meet good men and can't get married? That's a common curse. Talk to me. Accidents. Having a lot of accidents. These are operations of, 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 of the manifestation of witches operating witchcraft against your life. You need to know this because you need to know how to pray. Because the one thing a witch don't want is for you to know. Because, but because you have a name that's above every name, that when you speak that name and you begin to bind, yes, you, you send that stuff back to that witch. The Bible says, I suffer a witch not to live. So you send it right back with some fire on it. And usually when you do that, they're going to show up. They're they going to come because they're trying to figure out what did you do because the demon they sent came back and attacked them. See if, uh, y'all know, this is deep. If they send a demon and that demon goes to a Christian and the demon gets shamed, they go back and attack the one sent them. They want to know, what did you do? Why didn't this curse work? I'll give you a story. There was a, a witch, a great witch. Uh, he was, it's a man. See, this is what we confuse. A lot of, lot of men are in witchcraft. A lot of, lot of the men, a lot of the fathers in Africa was in witchcraft. They brought their families into it. We always look at the women. A lot of men in the witchcraft. But anyway, there was a brother. He was from New York, and he was, grew up in witchcraft. Father was a witch. Mother witch. He grew up in witchcraft. He was one of the most powerful witches. They said this brother was so powerful, police knew him. They said if, you, if, he, if, he, if he cursed you, you was going to die. If he said he would be like, you'll be dead in 30 days, that person would be, they'd be planning your funeral because this guy's witchcraft was so powerful. He would go do, he said, I went, he said there was a woman, a neighbor, came to me, her husband was cheated on her and left her for some woman. And the woman, I'm, see, heart motivation, heart motivation. See, this woman who got cheated on, she wanted to get him back. See, the heart motivation made her seek out somebody, and she had heard that he was into this. So she came to him and said, I want this, you to kill this woman. He said, let me go talk to my daddy. He's called Satan, his daddy. Satan told him, get, tell her to give you $10,000. This is big business. Y'all don't know him. See, a lot of people just be up there. You don't know why they died. I'm trying to tell y'all. Chris is the only one don't believe his stuff is real. And we the one got the power to stop it. And we don't even use the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind. That's how you deal with it. You bind it. But you won't even engage it. Because you've been taught as long as you got Jesus, ain't nothing going to happen. Say, say, think that. You can have him, but don't use him. Don't use him. You can have him. Just don't use his name. Don't come against me. You have all the Jesus you want. Just don't activate. Don't invoke him. Don't invoke him. But you can have him. That's like you can have a gun. Just don't shoot it. Nobody care about you having a gun if you ain't going to shoot it. So Christians don't know they ain't shooting. They just, they just showing the devil the gun. That's a nice gun. Probably a high caliber. But come here, because you ain't going to use it. So this witch, so this brother started to, uh, he told the woman, and, and then the woman said, listen, the woman said, she said, now, the woman that stole my husband, she's a Christian. So the witch said, you ain't got to give me nothing. I'll do it for free. Because they hate Christians. They hate those that name 
They, now, witches don't know why, because they don't know. So you got to understand, for them to do what they're doing, they're deceived by Satan. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know the power we have is greater than their power until they come against you. And then, and then it, don't, and it don't work. Yeah. Then they find out, but the demons in them deceive them that, oh, it just didn't work this time. Because the demons don't want them to know they have a greater power. Because witches are drawn to power. So a lot of witches get saved because they came against a Christian and it didn't work. And they start wondering about that power. Come on, I'm telling y'all stuff about the Holy Ghost. Y'all got to hear me. So the man said, I'll do it for free. So he, went, he, said, he said, she'll be dead in 21 days. He went into his ritual. He said, I did some some strong witchcraft against us, which means he went into his rituals and did all this little stuff. She ain't died. He waited for another, till 30 days, she still didn't die. So he went back, did it. He said, I put double on her. So he said, he said, when we, he said, when I do double, people die that night. This is how it worked. And we just skipping around, playing with God. We don't even know, people are sitting, these witches home fasting against you. You don't even know. How people done consulted, people done got you locked and stuff. You don't know why you can't break free, get married, get success in your life because you're locked somewhere by some demonic person who wants, who's, who, who has a demonic, Satan gave them a demonic hate towards you. No reason. They just don't like you for no reason. That's just how people, that's easy as you can get cursed. Somebody see something you got, they can't have it. Jealousy kick in, oh, I want they going to start cursing you. So he did this double curse on the woman and it didn't work. Satan showed up. He said, Satan came and told me, because this guy got saved. He was, got saved. He was a witch, got saved. He said, Satan came. He said, why come? This is supposed to work. Why didn't it work? He said, uh, he said Satan said, oh, her God, her God said we can't. Now the, now the witch was mad. He said, what? We, all we got to do is do it one more time. He said, her God said we can't. And from that moment on, there was a seed planted in his mind. Now listen, let me show you the, 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 the grace. The woman was in adultery. And God still told the demon, you can't kill her. Even when we are out of uh, fellowship through our sin, the grace and mercy is still on our life. That's why he said, I'm married to the backslider. Um, so you might go through battles you gonna go through battles witches gonna fight you this is what they do but that's why no weapon that they conjure in what do you think formed is they conjure in but no weapon they forming they might hit me with it but it won't it won't fulfill the purpose. Lord, I got to go. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? God acts. Because I want you to, I want you to look. One of the things that the Holy Spirit will have you do, especially on messages like this, anointed messages, it, he will have you scan your life. You start taking inventory and looking at certain areas of your life and trying to figure out what, you, what you're looking for is tendencies. Tendencies. Why do I have a poor in this area? Because Satan is hiding behind the sin. Come on, talk to me. Y'all got to understand what I'm saying. You have to learn to fight. I remember going to see a man of God, powerful man of God. Y'all say, why don't y'all say his name? Because I don't want to. Because people meddle. And they'll go somewhere and get lost. <laughs> and end up somewhere. And then they say, I told them. I ain't tell you go nowhere. You went because you wanted to. There's books I, I have read I wouldn't tell you to read them. There's certain levels in this. You can't let a baby read a let them read a book, they be messed up. That's why I don't say stuff. That's why people want to know. Like people always, they'll call, they'll be like, well, well where do you get that reference from? Well, the reason why I ain't tell you the reference is because there's more that you may not need to see. But I'm a good fish eater. 
Meet a knock and he fish and spit out bones. And you give a baby a bone, what they do? You be going to the hospital. Why? Because they don't know. They eat it all because they don't know no better. So if I tell you that I was on this website and I saw this part right here and this rang true, or the witness of the Spirit says true, but then this right here wasn't. But how do I tell you to read this and then not read this? So I just ain't going to tell you. Either you trust me or you don't. And that's why people get messed up. See, a lot of people get into witchcraft through books, through, through messing with stuff, looking for knowledge against the enemy, or looking, a lot of people are going through like they know their battle is, no, is really not physical and they know it's spiritual, and they start looking for stuff like that. And with the internet, it's just easy to get caught up in that stuff. So that's why I tell people, study the word. Amen. Study the Bible. You can get everything you need out of the book. Now, are you there? What was I saying before? That was a good point. No, said something else. Scan your life. Say scan, say scan my life. Because um, also, listen to me. Uh, there are certain dreams you should write down. Because dreams are designed for you to forget them. Most demonic dreams, Satan wants you to forget it. You do know that. I don't want to go so deep, but I'll tell you this. There are spirits called mind-blocking spirits, mind-blinding spirits. That's why you forget your dreams. It's important that you forget, because if you remember most of the time, especially if you have any spiritual discernment, you will know what that was, and you'll begin to fight. Satan does his work without resistance. While the Bible says, resist the devil, he will flee. So he, got to, he, he, he tries to do it secretly, because if you find out it's him, you're going to start resisting and make his job hard. He has to leave. That's why he wants to do it covertly. Most of the time when people come under demonic attack, they don't know that attack started years ago. You just now seeing what he was doing, that's, that started a long time ago. He worked on weapons for years. Sometimes since you was a child, he's been working on one weapon since he was a child. Now, so what was I saying? Dang. Scan, write down. Now, now, don't tell me. Because people always want to call me with their dream. Look, I don't want to hear all that stuff. So that's, that's, that's um, come on, man. I don't want, because then I'll be analyzing your stuff, and then I'll be in my mind, and then, then you know, because I do know what that stuff means, and I don't want to know. I don't, they just, I know what it, I don't worry. And if I told you, you'd be scared to death anyway. Right. I mean, one sister called me about this dream, and she was calling me about this dream, and, 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 and I got so frustrated with, with her keep telling me. I said, okay, okay. I said, you know what this is? I said, that right there was a spirit husband. I said, that right there are spiritual children. I said, that ring that was put on your finger, you married in the spirit world. That, that, that spirit is attacking every man that comes into your life to keep you from getting married. This is what's killing your family. Did you want to know? Now, I don't mind hearing from y'all. I'll talk to y'all. Y'all my people. I'll, if you want to tell me something, don't. <laughs> if you want to tell me, talk to me and tell me, okay? I'm your pastor. But y'all don't know how many we get it all day where people will see I dream this. And they think they spiritual. And I'm sitting there like, no, they took you to the water kingdom. And what you saw was souls trapped. You know, every church, you, you know, go, go to them church, everything happens, is, there's a devil, there's a devil. There's a devil. Now the mic, the battery just dead in the mic. We should have checked the battery. See what I'm saying? People get, <laughs> then you tell them, then you say, well, you know what, masturbation is the devil. Nah, what's it? I, the Lord know my heart. What, sure can discern the devil in this another silly stuff. Now, <laughs> what was I saying? Come on, what was I saying? Okay, write down uh, your dreams. Amen. The reason why it's important is because dreams are the, are the barometer of your spiritual life. 
I told you before, the Bible says that when the, when the, the girl, uh, when the little girl had died, and Jesus said, she's not dead all. Is that right? Yes, yeah, she's not dead all. She's sleep. He equated death with sleep. I told you when you, when you, when you are, um, when you are uh, sleep, this body is just a machine. Yeah. This body is charging. That's what it's doing. It's a battery. It charges up. Sleep is the charger that charges. That's why you wake up refreshed. The body's charging. It's a battery. It's a machine. But the spirit and soul don't sleep, so they, they somewhere. Talk to me. That's why you, I don't want to go that deep. I'll go that deep. Now, what was I saying before that? Write your dream. Write down your dream. Now, the reason why I said write down your dreams is because uh, you want to notice familiar patterns. Okay? Dreams are the barometer or, the, or thermometer, is a better word, of your life of your spiritual life. So usually, whatever, the reason why Satan fights you to forget your dreams is because that's where he's really doing his warfare that you can see. So that's why most of your dreams are about manipulation and tricking you all the time because it's, it's, that's the goal. It's try, he's trying to uh, fool you because when you are under demonic attack, the dream world, he's trying to get you in agreement in the dream world. This is what you receive in um, stuff in dreams, you know, gifts and stuff like that. Uh, most of the time, when you are under attack, uh, especially from the marine kingdom or witches, uh, a lot of those attacks are sexual, or you will wake up in the always in the middle of people you don't know. That means you were summoned to this witchcraft meeting or this witch's coven. They summoning you. That's why a lot of times when you wake up out of them dreams, you drop back in your body. You feel like you drop back in. Y'all don't want this. See, you drop back in because you were somewhere. This is what silver cords and ley lines are. Silver cords and ley lines are what witches use to connect the, where they travel and they connect. Uh. Are y'all there? So uh, this is why you want, now, uh, say God, God gives dreams. So there are godly dreams. There are godly dreams. Godly dreams, uh, although you may not always understand them, you'll have peace about them. Any type of New Testament prophetic understanding brings edification, exhortation, and comfort. So whatever the Holy Spirit shows us in the New Testament is to edify, to exhort us, which means encourage, or to comfort us. Demonic activity or demonic attacks in dreams always is, brings confusion, fear, um, something sensual or sexual. If any time is that, you, are, you don't have to ask nobody where, where it came from. Are y'all there? It's very important you understand this because... That's the first. See, whenever the enemy is attacking you, the Holy Spirit will be trying to reveal it to you, to teach you how to pray against it. Never roll over and go to sleep again when you have, if, it, listen, if you have a, a dream and if you have, it's not sleep paralysis. It's not. It's a, see, when you tell people this, they get afraid. And then you get afraid and fear you won't use the name because you'll be too scared. I'm trying to teach you, stop being afraid of it. Amen. Learn to fight. Amen. We all have had that fight. How, how do I know? How do I know? How do I know? Y'all think I know from a book? I know because I've been through stuff. This is what qualifies me to tell you. We know. All the men of God I run with know. This is how they know. This is what makes us good fighters. Why you think I pray so long for? You think I don't know? Amen. Witches hate me. They fight me. Why? Because of what I know. Amen. But you can't expect me fight my warfare to cure you. Amen. You got your own devil, Amen. which is a test for you. Because that demon is going to strengthen you. That's why God allows it. Yes, he allows it. The Bible says God does not do evil, 
neither does he tempt you with evil. But evil, so he needs, so if God doesn't do evil and he don't tempt you with evil, but he knows in order to, you, for you to be fully mature, you've got to understand that side. So he got to use this fool, which is the enemy, to do to you, to teach you how to fight. So the devil is the one he uses. He don't do evil, neither does he tempt you with evil, but Satan does that part, and that part still trains you on how to fight. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? So he does allow that. You there. Now, all right, please let me get to my point. My point was, are y'all getting the, what I'm saying? Witchcraft, the same way that we as humans grow in technology, Amen. the demonic grows in technology. As humans develop more technology, hell finds a way to use it. So the pattern, the old patterns of witchcraft that we used to deal with, meaning somebody had to physically touch you, get something from you, take something from you, be in your presence, steal something from you, they don't have to because the agreement is now online. I'm telling you, you can get under witchcraft attack by connecting with people online. It's easier. It's easier for witches to get you like that than it is for them to physically get you. I t How many of y'all remember, I was in South Africa. This was recently, I was in South Africa, I was, the man of God that was praying for me, prayed for me and blasted this witch. And while I was in South Africa, I called home and the witch was out front. Never seen her before. Never seen her, but the witch showed up because he got hit. Don't think that witch, y'all see y'all, the, the Christian is one of the most blind, is it? Do you think with all the destiny in you, let me tell you why the devil fight you. Did you know that your seed, because you serve in Christ, he, your seed is automatically going to destroy the enemy's kingdom in certain places? Do you not, if you understand that crack mothers and crack fathers produce crack babies would grow up to sell crack and go to prison do you not understand the seed of the righteous when you raise your children right that if they stay right they will destroy just by having a righteous life that's why he's fighting you he hates you for that so you don't have to never sit back and go, why the, what's it happening to me for? Cause you, what do you want? What did, all those that live godly shall suffer persecution. This is what we, that's what we signed up for. So Christ doesn't stop the war. He trains us for the battle. He's not going to take it away. He trains us to fight. So, as, so what happens is you get stronger. This is why now things you used to fall two years ago, you won't now. It'd be the same fight, but you won't fold. Why? You got stronger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, all right. Lord, let me, let me read this. I'm almost going to let y'all go. Let me let y'all go. Look now. Is y'all getting anything? So make sure you understand these tendencies. Beware. One of the main problems is, listen, y'all. Witches operate on information. Ear hustling. Information. In order to curse you, I need to know things about you. You are volunteering it online. See, if I was a, if not even a witch, if I was to somebody who won't do somebody evil, I would do to what the police are doing. They sitting right on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and letting y'all fools tell y'all business. Now, witches are doing this all the time. This is what y'all don't understand. In order to curse you, I need information about you. So they monitor you through information you're putting out for free. Now, if I'm monitoring you, now listen, let's, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you how this works. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing a ritual. I'm doing a spell against you. I don't like you. I'm cursing you, right? So I, go, so I don't have no way to know if it's cursing or working, but I go on your Facebook page, and you saw that. You know, I woke up with a headache today. <laughs> the curse is working. 
You just let them know that what they did penetrated. Because when, because, because now you remember, praise steals the avenger. Yeah. Means when you do the opposite, Satan goes into confusion. So if they came on your Facebook page, you hallelujah, God is good. They will be confused. I don't know if it's working or not. So they'll go try something else. But when they know this is working, oh, you stay sick today. It's working because you tell all your business. Witches monitor you. There are things called witchcraft monitors. Witchcraft mirrors. And stuff. I ain't got time to go into that. This is stuff witches use. What are they doing? They monitoring you. Why? Because they need to see your life at all times to see, make sure the witchcraft is working. That's why you ought to have certain prayers before you lay down. And when you wake up, you ought to have certain prayers. All witchcraft power attacking me, go back. Go back to your owner. When you wake up anything that bound me or got my agreement in the dream, I break it in the name of Jesus. You got to pray every arrow fired into my life. Witchcraft arrows, go back and find your owner. You can't, you are not going to make it in this, in this violent, the Bible says the kingdom of God, heaven, suffers violence. So my spiritual warfare and the violent take. That's how you get everything you're going to get from God. You got to take it in the spirit by force. Quit crying about getting attacked. Oh, they messing with me. I can't never get, stop. You're supposed to get attacked. You're supposed to be getting stopped. Stronger by fighting. Say amen. amen. Now the reason why I'm telling you about witches is because you have to know that usually a witch is somebody close to you. Now then don't, then don't go suspecting people. <laughs> you know how people do it. Ooh, they, they, they looked at me funny. That, that. You might be the witch. <laughs> you might be the one cursing folk. The point I'm making is um, it's easier to destroy a person if they're close. That's why they're close to you. And the way you, listen, I got to go. Lord, I got to go. A wise person will always listen to what people say. Listen. That's how you know. Discernment is about listening. One of the things you don't want to do is you may not want to talk to me because I listen. I listen intently because I understand that I got a lot to hold, I'm holding up. And if I let the wrong person get close to me or get into where I'm at, they can do a lot of damage if they hurt me. So, I'm, so my job is to listen. Listen to what people say. Never blow off. You are a spiritual being fighting a spiritual battle. How dare you blow off the Holy Ghost trying to give you information. Listen to what they say. The Bible says pray. Watch. Say watch. Now we be praying but we not watching. What's that, what's that neck? What's that charm you got? What is that? What's that mean? What's, that, what's this mean? What does that mean on you? What's that name right there? I want to know. Because I told you, people that operate in the demonic have telltale signs. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. That's why most lesbians get their face pierced. Yeah. It's a telltale sign. Y'all yeah. don't want to talk about this. Yeah. See, this is, where, this is why it's very important for you to listen. Say listen. listen. Say listen. listen. Watch. Watch. Because people, one thing I've learned is that the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. People cannot get away from what's in their heart for long. They might be able to fool you for a little while, but eventually it's going to come out. And when you get around somebody and they start speaking stuff, and you and listen. Ooh, if I had your man, listen. Listen. Ooh, if, ooh your man is so... Listen, the girl telling you. I wish I had a man do me like him. Listen, she's fantasizing about him and she won't work something on you. And you know, you're a fool because you're telling all about your relationship. you getting her intrigued. Did you know when you tell a woman about how bad your man is, she starts to want him? Women love danger. 
Y'all don't, that's why, that's why square brothers are mad now. You know, good brother went to school, intellectual, put their pants up right. They, they mad at women now because they be trying to be good women, but she, she want danger. You know what Kerry Washington said, you know y'all scandal chicks, y'all want something painful and dangerous. That's what y'all want. You want danger. So when you tell your man, or when you tell a woman how, how bad he's treating you, see this, oh, this is like a challenge. I, I bet you I can tame him. See, that? stop telling women about your man. Don't tell. Don't tell, don't open up, don't talk about that. Because that's how some witchcraft, that's one of the most common uh, workers of witchcraft, is women get close to you as the woman to talk about your, your home. And she, you don't know she's fantasizing, or if a woman's always over your house all the time, she's over all the time, she's fantasizing, she's, she's, she's putting herself in, in, in your place. And the goal is that she's putting herself on your husband's mind. Listen. Say listen. listen. When people talk about, oh, my, my mother was into this, listen. My father was into this, listen. Why? Because they're telling you. Whatever's in them is going to come out eventually. Say amen. amen. Because it's imp you as a spirit field overcomer, the only way you're going to overcome is if you have the correct spirit information Amen. by yielding to the Holy Spirit in areas of discernment when he's trying to reveal something. And don't be so stupid or so locked into a person that you can't cut them when you got to. Amen. Say cut them when you got to. Oh, yeah. Okay, so see, let me use your phone. I look at your phone. You got pornography. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a problem. So I'll see... I, Ain't no need of me overlooking that. Oh, well, that's just their issue, and they're going, okay, I love you, and I'm going to pray for you too, but now nah, you can't be around me. Because that's the spirit in your life, and evil communications corrupted. Y'all don't even know what that really means. It means demons transfer. What's in them will transfer to your life. You hang with a fag, you will think faggish thoughts. You hang with a lesbian, you will start thinking that way. Because you thinking it's her. It's not her. It's a spirit. You start smoking weed because they was. Whatever you around, you become. Because it's the spirit. See, everybody ain't evil, but the spirit they coming in may be. So they brought the spirit to you and you're battling because of the demon they brought. That's why I never battle being friends with folk. If, if, if I feel like, oh, this is evil, I, I love you, bye. I cut y'all with no heartbeat. My friend, only one I can't cut off is her. I got to work and pray for her if she get evil, but, but y'all, even my kids, man, y'all got to roll. You won't be evil, because I don't want evil around me. But you have to learn to cut evil off. But some of y'all won't cut evil off, and that's why that witchcraft power is working against you. You won't cut it off. You know I preached about 10 messages where you was convicted. And in, in the time of the message, you was, you was meaning it. But you left out, they called you, you're still back in that friendship again, and that's what's keeping you in, in, in that's what's keeping your life getting attacked. Gotta cut folk off. Talk back to me. Say witchcraft. witchcraft. Gossip. Gossip. Listen. Witches, gossip. They love gossip because they operate by information. And when you get, and I'm going to show you, when you get around somebody and there's a pool to God, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a pool. What do you think the pool is? That's witchcraft power pulling you to gossip. Now, if you could see the spirit world, you would see there's a devil working with this person to pull on you. To pull you into what? Sin, gossip. Then when they leave, you feel bad. Now, that should be an indication, you know what, I just can't be your friend. You know, I love you, but you know what, we, we, don't, we don't do each other no good. Because I'm tired of being under condemnation, so I'm going to cut you off. And because you don't know how to cut people off, you're battling. Got to go. Lord, uh, look at what time, I already done. Is this helping anybody? I'm not going to have time to get there. This is the story of Simon, because I want to tell you all this. What I'm talking about is very serious. Say Pray. 
one of the prayers you need to pray is expose any witch, anybody operating in witchcraft in my life, expose them. Expose them because I don't want to trust them. That don't mean you can't love folks, but don't trust people that operate like that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even though witchcraft is a work of the flesh, once a person yields enough in the flesh, they attract witchcraft spirits. They attract demonic spirits. Then they begin to operate not in the flesh, but actually in the demonic realm. You must ask the Holy Spirit to show you where these doors, because most of the time that witchcraft is working against you, you touched something you shouldn't have. The Bible says, be not ignorant. That's why a lot of times Christians be going, be Christians be get saved and get up running on, and they don't know why. I'm, I've been saved, been saved for years, my life won't work, can't get together, keep failing. What is it? You never went back. Amen. There are things you touched that you're supposed to go back. What are you going back for? Holy Spirit, show me Amen. where the door, I repented of the sin, but the door was open. Amen. Do you understand? Listen, listen, listen. If I push this over, right? And I push that over, right? Now, as it's falling, I can say, I'm, man, I'm sorry I pushed that over, right? I wish I never pushed that over, right? But even though I'm sorry for doing it, that's going to fall. The consequence is still there, even though I repented of it. So just because you got saved and repented of something, it don't mean you don't go back and say, now, where was the door? Where's the door that I opened? See, this is spiritual stuff that Chris, this is discipleship. Christians never entered in this because they just tell you, get Jesus, you all right, just sing and dance and clap and praise, and you never go back and do work in your life. You got to understand there was work that needed to be done. There's some stuff that needed to be, uh, we call renounced, what we say, confess. Amen. The Bible says you confess your sin. See, when you come up here and we say, say this, and you say, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, Father, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, forgive me, I repent of my sin. Okay, that's your initial saying, I, I want Christ in my life, and I receive your salvation. But confess means what it means. It don't mean go to a confessional. Amen. It means remember what you did Amen. And, say, and, and go back and repent for everything the Holy Spirit brings up. The, the motivation or the understanding of anointed preaching is for the Holy Spirit to bring up doors that are open. Because it's unconfessed. It's unconfessed, meaning the door's there. So many times you have to go back and you got to confess that. Father, I confess fornication with them. Amen. See, I confess fornication with them. I confess masturbation then and then and then. See, you, you, see we want to run over what this used to be called was what we call purging, Amen. sanctification. But now we just run over that one blanket prayer, forgive me of all my sin, and we done. No. You got to go back, get down with the Lord. You got to get in your prayer closet and begin to make that an altar and begin to ask the Lord, show me, like David did, if there's any wickedness in me, show me where the door was. Show me what you still grieved about in my life. Thank you for your salvation, but now let me receive this engrafted word that is able to save my soul. Why do my soul need to be saved if I already got saved? Because your soul is saved by renewing it. So every time I get down before the Lord and I begin to confess my sin, I'm renewing my mind. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Because all demonic attack needs a door. No matter how powerful a witch is, they can't do nothing if ain't no way to get in. So we have to guard ourselves from witches and witchcraft. Y'all there? Amen. Are y'all there? Amen. Lord, I ain't done, but I got to quit. This is very serious, what I'm saying. Amen. Now, don't be going home accusing people of witches, but some of y'all people are witches. I got witches in my, I know witches in my family. My whole father's side, I know who they are. They come from Louisiana, I know. My people come from Louisiana, I know what they into. My uncle lived here, he told me what my people into. And when he told me that, I didn't want nothing to do with them. Because I understood that they don't look at voodoo as bad. They mixed it with Catholicism, and they think it's good. So they'll be sitting there cursing and doing rituals on you. And I'm like, no, nah, y'all ain't getting no pictures. We ain't, we ain't getting no pictures of me. 
Now, the problem with that is, even though I'm saved, because that's my bloodline, I had to fight them devils. Them witches attacked me even though I was saved because my people opened the door. And my father died and his brother died right after that. And them spirits of death attacked me because they came from them. The devil ain't going to no other family. He's going to stay in the same family. So I had to fight them. I was a pastor, had to fight them. I was a pastor, which showed up in my dream, showed up, took me to a house, and with five witches in there doing spells over me. Trying to touch me. They was trying to touch me in a dream. I was young then. I didn't know what I know now. Why do y'all think I know so much now? I learned to fight. I learned to war. We went to war. Witches be in trouble now. Because, see, they know this Negro... He's so stubborn. He'll pray all night. He'll fight all night. It'd be light coming up. He's still fighting. They'd be like, there ain't no need in messing with him. It's better to leave him alone. Because I learned that now, now, God in, his, God in his infinite mercy of wisdom, he could just do this and my warfare would be over. But this level of warfare I've been under for years, if it wasn't for that, I would have been done, been off. The God showed me this years ago. He said, if it wasn't for this level of constant pressure, your gift is so big that you would have been done merchandised it. You would have been done left me. Fame would have came to you a long time ago. But what keeps you grounded and what makes you run away from praise and what makes you get away from people when they're trying to lift you up? Because you know when you got to go home, you got to fight. You can't get prideful when you battling like that. So my warfare is a counterweight. It's balance. It keeps you back. Now, 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 this is scriptural. I told y'all. Paul had the same fight. He said, because of the, the measure of the revelation I have, I was given a thorn in my side, which was a messenger of Satan. Lest I be lifted up above measure. He said, my gift was so big. I was up in the third heaven talking about stuff I was seeing, and in order to balance me so I wouldn't become a god, he gave me something to remember. Every time men would lift me up, I would say, oh, you can't be prideful with pain. This is what balances the gift. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Now, there are things that God allows. But then there are sometimes, you know, Satan is silly. He'll always, he's a, he's a habitual line stepper. Do you know what that means? He habitually steps over the line. Even though God say, okay, like with Job, just do this much. He's still going to try to do more. So when he tried to do more, that's when you got to understand warfare. There are things God allows because it's, it's strengthening you. But then there are things that Satan says, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And that's why you got to know how to fight. Say amen. So you have to go back in your family and fight. The problem with us, I'm done. The problem with us is we all... The, all, most of the darker races, I told y'all this before, especially African, African descent, those that came through Africa, the whole continent of Africa was dedicated to the Marine Kingdom. That's why most Africans have spirit spouses and spirit, we couldn't, it's water spirits. It's what we find. I, I know what I'm talking about. And, and even though we, were, we came here as slaves, our ancestry still went there. And so there are covenants, covenants that's been made. A covenant is a contract. And when, and when a father or mother covenants, uh, makes a covenant with, with, with the queen of the coast or makes a covenant with, uh, with some marine devil or some spirit, the covenant was for the children. So your great-grandfather, grandfather could have made a covenant to a marine demon or to an to a idol. And that, the, 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 the price for the power that the idol gave them to whatever they thought they was going to prosper in life the price was the bloodline of the children. So that the demon comes down. It keeps passing down until somebody breaks the covenant. Amen. Now, a witch's job is to keep attacking you so that you won't focus on that and you won't break the covenant. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Y'all there. Stand on your feet. I can't go no further. I, I got a lot more to say. Did y'all get did y'all understand anything I'm trying to say? I preach on this stuff not to scare you. You shouldn't be. How 
can you be scared? I don't know why, Chris. I can't understand that. Why? How can we be scared? We, 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 you know why you scared? You've been watching The Ring, Fatal, Last Final Destination. See, you watched all this stuff. Michael Myers. I don't even know the new one. I don't watch it. Scream. See, you went running through the house, and now you think that stuff, The Exorcist. That's what's wrong with you. The devil put all that in front of you. You got faith for the demonic. And so when we start talking about battling, you're thinking about that stuff. The little girl coming out of TV stuff. Because you got more faith in that demonic than greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So what this should be is me strengthening you to operate in the power you got. But because you this stuff to come to your mind, when we start talking about demonic stuff, it raw. See, that's what's in your mind. And you running through the house, cutting the lights on, jumping in the bed, both feet up, all of those stuff. <laughs> you ever slept like that, notice your foot was off the bed, <laughs> your hands off the <laughs> Like the cover going to save you. No, the cover ain't going to save you. They gonna, the knife go through the cover. The point is, you were trained in fear. So you can only, listen, so you can only equate the demonic with the images you've had about the demonic, which wasn't true. Amen. Amen. See, when demons and stuff that you saw was what Hollywood invented, and that's what you think of when we talk about demonic, so you get afraid of it. Instead of understanding the power that you have in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. So me preaching this is to make you look at your life, go home and look at these little Sus suspect charms and rings and pictures and paintings and stuff that people gave you and these cowrie shells and all this stuff you got and remember wait where did this come from Amen. and begin to get this out of your house be led by the spirit into what's right what's wrong remove certain things be led by the spirit into friendships Amen. are you hearing what I'm saying Amen. and begin to rise up in the power of the Holy Ghost and rebuke the devil Rebuke him. You ought not never have a nightmare and go back to sleep. Get up and rebuke. This is what we have oil for. You do know what oil, anointed oil is. I don't understand Christians nowadays. It's like y'all don't understand. It's all about warfare. You don't fight. You ought to have all your, your wall ought to be shining. Just anointed up. The whole wall is anointed. Just anointed. That's what, it, that's what we do. But many times we've gotten we've gotten we've gotten used to the we gotten used to Satan's tactics or activity in our life. Say amen. amen. Say fight. fight. This is what this ministry is really about. Amen. Teach you to fight. Hallelujah. Say amen. amen. The reason why I have two grown sons here. My young, young daughter was almost grown. My daughter, other daughters in Costa Rica grown, and they all doing well. It's because we fought. While we still married, we still going on, we fought. And it's not that Satan didn't fight us. He fought us. Some of y'all been here long enough to see the warfare, even in my own life. I fought for years because I didn't know what I was fighting. I didn't know what it was until I figured it out. But we fought. This is the only way you're gonna, this is the only way you're gonna make it in life. Satan gonna, his job is to steal, kill, and destroy. And your job is to pray and watch. You gotta do both. So you ought to have a watch of prayer. Amen. You ought to have a prayer watch, meaning there's a certain time that, listen, listen to me, I got to go. There's a certain time that the enemy attacks you. We all have a time. That time is your prayer watch. Amen. That's the time you should be praying. Amen. What you don't understand is that witches do they work at night. Do we, why do they do they work at night? Good folks asleep. They don't do their work in the day. They do it at night. It really is true. The freaks come out at night. It's true. They come out at night. The greatest demonic activity is between 12 and 4. 12 o'clock, midnight, and 4 o'clock. Greatest, greatest demonic activity. The darkest of the night. That's when the night is at its darkest. That's why they operate during that time. You should not, I don't care what time you work, you should have some type of prayer time around that time you should you set your clock 30 minutes get up pray 
Learn, this is what disciple is, a disciplined one. It's easy to roll over and go, yeah, it, it feels good. You know, around three, you, you so sleep, you, you used to sleep, sleep. You used to sit up and sleep, slob and sleep, you sleep. But discipline yourself because you're fighting against something that doesn't sleep. Amen. Say amen. amen. It's not to scare you, it's to exercise you, to strengthen you. Say amen. amen. What you will find when you begin to fight like that, you'll begin to find your day be going smoother. Because what Satan is doing, he's, he's trying to curse you while you're sleeping and make your day go the way the dream went. Many times stuff will happen in your dream and it'll happen in the, in, it'll happen in the day and you'll be trying to figure out how did that happen because that's what he's trying to do. So you go to war. Say amen. amen. One thing you must do. Listen, I'm done. I know I said I'm done. I'm done when I'm done. It's okay to rebuke and bind witches and send what they sent back. You send it back. What the Bible says, don't do evil for evil. It don't mean, it means to your brother. To your brother. But it doesn't mean that with witches. A witch is actually a spiritual entity because they're doing stuff spiritually. So you send it back. That's how they leave you alone when they realize you ain't going to just take it. Are y'all there? Come on, say fight. fight. Many of you all who are not filled with the Holy Ghost, I tell you over and over again, you must be filled with the Spirit. If you want to be filled, we have a prayer team that will fit, help you get filled with the Holy Ghost. So the, most people that are filled with the Holy Ghost, they are filled by People laying hands on them that I feel, that I stirred up. That's how I got filled with the Holy Ghost. A great, a great woman of God was filled, and she, and she laid hands on me, and, and, I, and, I, and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Greatest experience of my life. Amen. Couldn't have made it this far. So you need to be filled. And one, of the, and one of the reasons why you have so much warfare is because Satan is trying to push, trying to make you figure out life in the mind. Instead of riding with the spirit. In the, in the spirit, there's a flow. Just like a surfing a wave, it's a flow. But without the spirit, you, you're up here in the mind, trying to figure everything out. And that's why you, you can't figure it out like that. This is a spiritual battle. Say amen. So, I'm done. Lift your hands. Let's pray. Y'all ready to pray? Amen. Now put your hands down. Show y'all how to pray. Amen. When you pray, now, there are prayers, Paul said, you pray in the spirit, you pray with understanding. That's supplication, usually prayer, where you're talking to the Lord. You pray like that all the time. You're making your requests known, you're praying in English, talking to him, and then you can pray in the Holy Ghost. That's prayer. What I'm talking about is warfare. It's two different things. See, Christians don't get that. Warfare is when you're not talking to God. you engage engaging the enemy. The same way Christ engaged the enemy at the tomb when he called, he told the spirits in the man come out, you engage the devil. You, you're talking to him now. Y'all got what I'm saying? Like when the archangel said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. you there's, there's times we talk to God, but then there's times we engage the enemy. Say amen. Say engage the enemy. Now, you should know how to talk to God if you've been saved any length of time, right? Amen. You should talk to the Lord. You do that all the time. What you're not doing is engaging the enemy. Amen. A lot of sicknesses are from the enemy. A lot of sickness. And if the devil can't get you, he comes to your child. Amen. If he can't get you, he'll come to the child. Amen. Stop thinking everything's medical. Stop it. I'm telling y'all. You think everything's medical. You trained in the Western world to think that way. Everything is, is, is just a medical, it's a pill. You give them a pill, some cough syrup. No. Some stuff is, some, some stuff, especially when it's acute, meaning it just come quick. It happened all of a sudden. That's the stuff that you say, wait a minute. Especially if it won't go away fast. Stuff that starts to linger or becomes a dis-ease, it's a curse behind that. It's a curse behind that sickness. And you have to know how to pray. That's when you engage the enemy. Say engage the enemy. Paul said we wrestle 
wrestle. Wrestling means contending. It means trying to overpower. Amen. Not flesh and blood. So we got to understand where our wrestling is. Amen. Amen. So warfare prayer is wrestling in the spirit with the enemies who's trying to attack your life or, or destroy your life. Say amen. amen. So in that type of praying, you engage the devil with violence. Amen. Spiritual violence. You got what I'm saying? Amen. Spiritual violence has to do with fire and swords and spears amen. Amen. and arrows. Amen. And they all are released by what you say. It's your words. Are you there? So when you engage in the enemy, when you rebuke in the enemy, you 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 got to keep in mind that I'm being violent towards him, because Satan don't believe you for real unless he knows that you 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 rise up in violence. You got what I'm saying? Now, are you there? So when you praying against witchcraft, you pray with tenacity, and don't be afraid. And that's why the Bible said, enter into that closet. Because you got to get somewhere where the neighbors won't think you crazy. Because you got to, sometimes you got to do it. Amen. All right. Y'all ready to pray? Amen. Come on, y'all ready to pray? Amen. Give yourself some room. <laughs> I wish y'all was here years ago. We used to pray, boy. My God. We used to pray hard every day. Six hours of prayer here. Amen. You, our Friday nights for six hours of prayer. <laughs> you missed it, bro. You missed it. But that prayer, prayer foundation is why we're here now. Amen. That prayer foundation is why we're here now. Amen. Amen. Every witch, Every witch cursing, my life, cursing my life, you are a liar. You are a liar. All, evil power, All evil power, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. To your sender, every arrow, every arrow fired, from fired from the waters against my life, against my life. Come, out. come out, come out, come out, go back to your sender, every spirit of lust, caging my body, caging my mind, you are a liar, die, die. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, lay your hand on your head. Every mind, every mind blocking spirit, every mind blocking spirit. Binding, my memory, binding my memory, binding my thoughts. Binding my thoughts. You, are you are a liar. Come out, come out, come out, out, out. Loose my mind, loose my brain, loose my memory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every, witch Every witch cursing my life, cursing my life. in the midnight hour, the midnight hour. Fell, 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 fall, fall by fire, fall, fire. Fall, 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 fall by fire, fall, fire. Fall, 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 fell, fell, fell in Jesus' name. Every spirit, Every spirit from my place of birth, place of birth causing, limitation. causing limitation, you are a liar. Catch fire. 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 In Jesus' name, Amen. witchcraft sickness witchcraft in my body, in my body. Witchcraft, sickness witchcraft sickness attacking my body. I, I, you, are you are a liar. I bind you. Come out. 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 In Jesus' name. Come on, lay your hand on your body. I release healing. Come on, I release healing. Come on, healing. Come on, speak to your body. I release healing in my body. Healing in my flesh. In my limbs, my arms, my heart, my organs, I release healing. Hallelujah. 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 
All right, last one. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every spirit wife, every spirit, wife. Every spirit husband, every spirit husband. From, the from the water that has captured my life. You are a liar. You are a liar. Die. 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 In Jesus' name. Loose me. Every evil marriage. In the spirit. Every evil marriage covenant. In the spirit. Upon my life. Break. Break. Break, 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 break. I am married to Jesus. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Blood of Jesus, cover me. Blood of Jesus, speak for me. Fight for me. Cover me. Blood of Jesus, break every curse of sin. Blood of Jesus, break all generational curses. Break all generational curses. Amen. 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 Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost, I'm wide open. I'm wide open. Fill, me Fill me with your power. With your power. Fill, me Fill me with your fire. With your fire. Fill, me Fill me until I run over. Run. Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost, I'm your vessel. Your vessel. Fill, your Fill your vessel. I'm open to you. Open to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some worship. Come on, give him some worship right where you are. Hallelujah. Fill us till we run over. Hallelujah. 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 Everything that was done here tonight, that was done here tonight. Let, it let it be sealed by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Every, door Every door that was closed in my life, in my life. Let, it let it be sealed by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, get a loss of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.